compromise. Was one, one person attempted to put some compromise into the mix, that was Malcolm Turnbull, but I think it was sort of in an un unauthorised way, but mm. let, let's hear from him. What the Prime Minister is doing is allowing her conception of the perfect to be the enemy of the good. There is something that can be achieved today, Nauru, it should be achieved. If it does not succeed, then she has the opportunity to ask the for stronger measures. Time. Now you get the feeling he's one leader who might have found a way through all of this, but then when he found a way through on the uh, on the carbon tax, he lost his job. Mm. Um, mm. Whether he would have, again, I'm not so but sure. But it's that kind and, of yeah. talk and idea that. Yeah, mm. yeah I, I think that that um, what we've uh, I've described this in my column on, on Friday about, that it's, it's sort of Labor's uh, prisoner's dilemma that every time uh, the government tries to compromise with with the Tony Abbott opposition, they get punished. Labor gets punished, and mm. and, and this is actually what Kevin Rudd warned about. You know. Don't do a deal with him because he he can't be trusted. Shift the goalposts because uh, he's going to shift the goalposts, and and I, I think that you you almost saw that with with before when when you had uh, uh, Scott Morrison taking out that insurance, saying you know we're, uh, they'd be so in incompetent it wouldn't work anyway. Now what about this um, the, the group that they put together? What is the point? Because you know what Tony Abbott's position will be, and even if they even if they say no Malaysia, you go straight to Nauru, th th that won't in itself guarantee Tony Abbott's support. Look, it, it's a clear signal that the government has accepted that it doesn't have the moral authority to push through something. Mm. It needs outside help to do that. And uh, uh, the, the, the three gentlemen on the panel, I think they're exceptional choices, uh, with Angus Houston leading them. But their job, no matter what they do, they will simply be there as, as leverage for the government to try and get something through. It's as simple as that. That's true, but I think that's what's needed. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great committee of people. It should have probably happened nine months ago. They should have had this then and gone armed with that. It puts more pressure. It takes the politics out of it to some degree, and therefore it puts more pressure or leverage, as Malcolm said. But Tony Abbott's made it clear he, he will not be moved, which therefore now puts a pressure immediately on the committee, doesn't it, to not come up with Malaysia because it's not going to get anywhere.